Changing old habits is never easy. No, it's not. So the First Lady says to change behavior. And it's going to take government doing its part. If Michelle Obama wants to inspire us by exercising on the White House lawn, that's great. But government doing its part usually means force. This has nothing to do with banning your ability to buy as much as many sugary drinks as you want, simply the size of the cup that can be used. In my hometown, the mayor is upset about big cups of soda. He wants cups this size made illegal. This is the single biggest step any city, I think, has ever taken to curb obesity. Please, I can still buy two of these. That's 32 ounces. Or I can go to a supermarket, buy one of these monsters. How does this curb obesity? Real, thank you. My mayor is also proud that he's forced every chain restaurant to clearly post calorie count. There they are. There were more than a few skeptics, but today both reforms are recognized as national models. Sadly, that's true. Under Obamacare, all big chains will now have to post calorie counts, even though they don't work. A study by professors at New York University and Yale tracked customers at McDonald's, Wendy's, Burger King, and Kentucky Fried Chicken. They found half the customers noticed the calorie counts, and some said it influenced their ordering. But when researchers checked receipts, they found people ordered more calories. The author of The Food Police, Jason Lusk, studied that too. And what we find is those labels really don't change behavior at all. So what you're, what you're doing is asking companies to undertake a cost that has essentially no benefit to the consumer. It's a sign of a government that's willing to step into your daily food choices, even th though they know it won't work for the sole reason of creating a symbol. I mean, what kind of government is that? An intrusive one. In my state, the legislator most eager to ban foods and require that those signs be posted is Felix Ortiz. It didn't work. They've tested it. In fact, they ate more. Well, I'm, I'm disagree with, uh, with that. Now he's going after salt. The ban of salt in the restaurants in the state of New York. Too much salt is bad for some people, people with hypertension or some other problem. But there's no evidence that it's harmful to most of us. In fact, some studies show that reduced salt intake among some segments of the population actually increased the chances of death. So because you shouldn't have salt, I can't have salt? It's based on the statistics that is coming from out from CDC. For some people, maybe 20% of the people, but not everybody. Hold the cheeseburgers across the pond in Europe. Denmark is becoming the first country in the world to impose a fat tax. Some members of the food police say consumers should pay more to buy less healthy food. The chattering class loved what Denmark did. Denmark has decided to implement what they're calling a fat tax. Basically, you go to the supermarket, you buy a food that has above a certain level of fat, they charge you extra. All right, do we feel good about this, Doc? Absolutely. The fat tax passed the Danish parliament overwhelmingly. But Danes just switched to cheaper food that was just as unhealthy or crossed the border to shop in neighboring countries. Within one year, Denmark repealed its fat tax. So far, its American boosters haven't mentioned that, so I will. They repealed it. They, they, as they repeal it, I, I think they're making a big mistake on repealing. They, well, they tried it for a yeah. year. They tried your dumb idea for a year, and they said, oh, my goodness, bad idea. I believe it's a great idea. Other great ideas from the food police are taxes on candy or fast food. How do you define a fast food? You can go to McDonald's, you can order a salad or you can order a Big Mac. Both of those are fast food. You can bet that the lobbyists are gonna be on the table when we make those rules as to what a fast food is. Illinois has had a similar problem with its candy tax. What exactly is candy? The bureaucrats decided this Hershey bar is taxable candy, but this Hershey bar isn't because it contains flour. Store clerks don't know what to charge. In our donuts, we have flour, sugar, eggs, salt. Katie Rosenhaus's dessert won an award on the Food Network. Don't you think you're poisoning people? No. You're, you're making everybody fat. No. Without a little fat and sugar, what would life be? We asked her to make donuts without the so-called bad stuff. The healthy version I made today has no sugar, no salt, very little fat. It's not fried, it's baked. Showing you how different dessert can be without all of the good stuff. The good stuff? Well, yeah. it's egg whites, that's good. <laughs> egg whites are good, but it's not like egg yolks. Will people mind the difference? Let's try a taste test. We got a healthy donut and a regular donut. Almost everyone liked the regular donut. That's awesome. And how about the other one? Not that's, as decadent. Not so good? Doesn't really taste like anything. You need the sugar. I wanted to like the healthy donut. 
It's like eating bread. Not what I'm looking for in a donut. Some people did like the healthier version. That's baked. It's good. For a baked donut, it's very good. Taste is subjective, so it's good that people have choices. And we're trying to give you alternative and option where you can make better choices. Where do you get off saying you're giving us more choice? You're banning things. You're giving us less choice. Well, it, let me just say, uh, it, you're absolutely right. I'm trying to ban those stuff that is not good for the consumer. You're a bully. Well, the, I've been calling worse. <laughs> what business is it of yours what I put in my own body? Isn't that part of freedom? You can have the freedom, but when it's come down to the healthcare costs, then we need to tackle them. And if we are not into healthy lifestyle, government will be blamed for not doing the right thing. So because government is responsible, because we have a socialized health care system, you get to take away my freedom? I think what I'm trying to do is to help you to have a better life. You're like a cancer. You're spreading a bad <laughs> thing that costs a lot of money and doesn't do any good. And I am a good cancer.